Imagine you've lived in the same country your entire life, surrounded by familiar landscapes, foods, and people. But what if one day you decide it's time to leave it all behind? Today, we're counting down the top 10 European countries where everyone's leaving, looking closely at why people are making such a drastic choice. Each country has its unique struggles from overcrowding to economic troubles and we'll be unpacking each one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch until the end for shocking details and fascinating figures. You might be surprised at what's driving so many to pack up and leave. Number 10. Ireland. A small country of 5 million surprisingly sees 3% around 50,000 people leaving each year. 70% of emigrants are Irish natives, while 30% are immigrants who initially moved for work or education. Ireland's housing crisis is severe. The average house in Dublin now costs nearly 520,000 euros, a daunting price for most young families and professionals. Rent is equally high, with the average monthly rent in Dublin reaching 2,000 euros. Can you imagine paying that for a modest apartment? The government has attempted to implement measures to increase housing availability, but the demand continues to outstrip supply. The result? Long waiting lists for affordable homes, overcrowded rentals, and a general sense that the Irish dream is becoming out of reach. Many Irish citizens are seeking refuge in countries like Australia and Canada, where job opportunities abound and housing is more attainable. Number 9. Portugal. With a population of 10 million, is seeing an exodus of 3% around 70,000 people per year. Interestingly, 80% of emigrants are native Portuguese who feel they can no longer afford to live in their own cities. A significant factor? Stagnant wages. The average salary in Portugal hovers around 1,100 euros per month, which is modest compared to many Western European nations. But with living costs rising, that income barely stretches far enough to cover essentials like rent, utilities, and food. In Lisbon and Porto, rents have surged by nearly 20% in recent years, putting additional pressure on young professionals and families who can't keep up with the pace. Opportunities for career growth are also limited. While Portugal has attracted tech hubs and digital nomads in recent years, many Portuguese feel left behind in lower-paying jobs without clear paths for advancement. Finally, public services like healthcare and education are under strain. Long wait times in public hospitals and limited educational resources leave many feeling as though they're getting less for their tax euros. While Portugal might offer a high quality of life to those who can afford it, for many Portuguese, staying simply doesn't seem worth the struggle. Number 8. Greece. Though stunning in its natural beauty, faces a shrinking population as its youth seek opportunities abroad. With a population of 10.4 million, Greece has seen 4% around 80,000 people emigrate each year, 80% of whom are Greek nationals seeking better futures. Greece's economy has struggled since the financial crisis, and young professionals often feel there's no room to grow. Why are they leaving? Greece has struggled with economic instability since its debt crisis in the early 2000s and 10s. Unemployment rates remain high, especially among young people where it hovers around 35%. The austerity measures implemented by the government have cut public sector jobs and wages. Economic reforms have also increased the tax burden on working Greeks, making it challenging for families to sustain themselves. The country's aging population adds to the problem. With fewer young people in the workforce, the economic pressure continues to mount. For many Greeks, the solution has been to move to other EU countries where their skills are in demand and the job market is more dynamic. Number 7. Spain the beautiful landscapes and warm climate can't outweigh the challenges of high unemployment and living costs. With 47 million residents sees 4% around 90,000 people leaving each year, including 55% native Spaniards and 45% immigrants who initially came for Spain's sunny reputation. The country struggles with a 32% youth unemployment rate, one of the highest in Europe, meaning young people face an uphill battle to find stable jobs let alone well-paying ones. Many feel stuck in precarious work or unpaid internships with no clear path to financial independence. Imagine graduating and then waiting years just to land a basic job. On top of that, inflation is squeezing Spanish families like never before. Grocery prices surged by 15% in just one year, and utility bills are through the roof. For many, paychecks simply aren't enough to keep up with the rising cost of living. While tourists enjoy Spain's affordable lifestyle and beautiful vistas, many locals feel that it's increasingly out of reach. 
The harsh reality? For a growing number of Spaniards, leaving is the only viable option for a secure future. Number 6. Belgium. Think of Belgium, and you'll likely picture waffles, chocolate, and medieval towns. With a population of 11.5 million, however, 2.1% of its urban population considered relocating, around 100,000 residents each year due to rising discontent. About 60% of those leaving are native Belgians, with 40% being immigrants who once came seeking opportunity. Why the sudden shift? The language divide and political tensions are a unique strain on Belgium. Imagine navigating daily life where cultural misunderstandings lead to constant friction. Different regions even celebrate separate holidays. This divide has trickled into politics too, making national decisions slow and divisive. Many Belgians, especially younger people, feel they're in a country split in three rather than a united nation. Belgium's tax system is often called one of Europe's highest, and many working professionals feel trapped. Income tax can climb to a staggering 50% for high earners. Add to that relentless traffic jams, Brussels consistently ranks as one of Europe's most congested cities. Some people spend upwards of two hours a day just commuting. Meanwhile, public transport is crowded and frequently delayed. Healthcare remains excellent, but the government's tax policies, bureaucratic red tape, and housing shortages in key areas are driving people to search for a better balance. Number 5. France In France, the allure of the French lifestyle is losing its appeal for some residents. With 67 million residents has seen 3% around 130,000 people leaving annually with 60% of emigrants being native French citizens. So why is France, with its charm and cuisine, losing residents? High taxes are a huge deterrent especially for young professionals and entrepreneurs. France's top income tax rate can hit 45%, leaving some to wonder if hard work is even worth it. Youth unemployment remains high, sitting around 20% in certain regions, leaving young graduates frustrated. The cost of living in France has become prohibitive. Paris, for instance, is ranked among the world's most expensive cities, with rents averaging 1,300 euros per month for a small apartment. Beyond cost, France has also seen social unrest, with frequent protests and strikes adding to a sense of instability. From the Yellow Vests movement to pension reform strikes, the constant civil action has led many to feel that France's social harmony is fading. Number 4. United Kingdom The United Kingdom has undergone major changes since Brexit, and its effects are evident in rising emigration rates. With a population of 67 million, sees 4% around 150,000 people leave each year, including 45% British nationals and 55% immigrants. Brexit has reshaped Britain's identity, and the effects are far-reaching. Since Brexit, the UK's economic landscape has become less stable with fewer job opportunities across the European Union. Many young professionals now feel that Brexit has narrowed their options, especially those who once enjoyed EU freedom of movement. For students and workers alike, the dream of a European experience is now much harder to achieve. On top of this, the cost of living has soared. London's average monthly rent is now a staggering £2,200, more than double what it was a decade ago. Economic uncertainty is one of the main culprits. Brexit led to disruptions in trade, resulting in higher prices for everyday goods and services. Inflation has hit 6% annually, squeezing middle-class families. Additionally, the job market has become less stable, with some industries like finance and tech relocating to EU hubs, reducing opportunities in the UK. Number 3. Germany Germany's robust economy and strong social system have attracted millions, but even this powerhouse isn't immune to population decline. With 83 million people, Germany is Europe's powerhouse. Yet, an alarming 3% around 180,000 people annually are leaving Germany, with around 70% of these emigrants being native Germans. The surprising exodus is largely due to two reasons, rising living costs and a sense of burnout. Germany's tax rates can reach 42% of personal income, among the highest in Europe. This means that while Germany boasts high salaries, residents often feel much of their income slips away in taxes and high rents, particularly in cities like Berlin and Munich. Rent in major cities like Munich and Berlin has doubled in recent years, with one-bedroom apartments averaging 1,500 euros. Highly skilled professionals in fields like IT, engineering, and medicine are moving abroad due to better pay and work-life balance opportunities. Many are relocating to Switzerland or Scandinavia, where salaries are higher and workloads are lighter. 
Germany's bureaucracy is another headache, with workers often feeling overwhelmed by the rules and paperwork. Though Germany remains a land of opportunity, this trend raises serious questions about the future of its labor market and social stability. Additionally, Germany's changing energy policies, including a transition to renewable energy, have led to rising electricity bills. Coupled with inflation, the average German finds it tough to make ends meet. For many, moving to neighboring countries with lower taxes and housing costs feels like a breath of fresh air. Number 2. Italy Italy, with its historic cities and rich culture, has seen a steady decline in its youth population. With 60 million people, loses 3.5% around 200,000 residents per year, and 75% of those leaving are Italians disillusioned by economic stagnation. Youth unemployment is a major problem, sitting at around 30%. Many young Italians feel stuck in low-paying jobs with little chance for advancement. Despite a high quality of life, government inefficiencies and corruption are pushing people away. Salaries are stagnant, with average wages barely exceeding 1,200 euros per month. Italy's brain drain is a serious concern, with skilled professionals heading to Northern Europe for better job prospects and higher wages. Number 1. Netherlands Did you know that the Netherlands, famous for its charming canals and progressive policies, is facing an exodus? With a population of 17.5 million, the Netherlands has always been a sought-after place to live. However, 3.5% of its urban population considered relocating. Around 223,000 people have been leaving or planning to leave. Shockingly, both Dutch natives and immigrants who once saw the Netherlands as a dream destination are now moving out at similar rates. About 55% of emigrants are Dutch nationals, while 45% are immigrants who previously relocated to the Netherlands. Overcrowding is a big issue. Cities like Amsterdam are bursting at the seams. Commuting is nightmarish with train platforms packed to capacity and housing prices sky high. Rent in Amsterdam averages 1,600 euros for a one-bedroom apartment. Average home prices have skyrocketed to 420,000 euros, leaving locals and new arrivals alike to wonder if their salaries are enough. Beyond cost, social challenges are mounting. Over-tourism is leading to tourist fatigue, where locals feel they're living in a theme park. But it's not just the money. The Dutch government's environmental policies have also stirred controversy. The Netherlands has ambitious green targets, including slashing nitrogen emissions by 50% by 2030. Farmers, feeling the impact of strict regulations, have been protesting and even considering moving abroad. The question remains, is this the price of progress? So, what's the real cost of living in these European countries? From over-tourism to housing crises, the factors are varied, but lead to a common outcome. Residents are packing their bags and searching for better opportunities abroad. Are you surprised by these reasons? Would you ever consider leaving your home country? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insights on global trends. Thanks for watching.